Hello friends, I am Sanjay and in this video I am going to talk about the scientific calculator uh, that I have created using Python. Uh, in initial part I will show you the working of the calculator, working of these various buttons and uh, then I will talk about the code behind this calculator. So this is the calculator this is the main calculator and uh, within this calculator there is also a conversion uh, function which is here when I click this conversion button I get a different uh, window and in this window you can see there are various converter converse, uh, converting functions it means you can use these buttons to convert your values from one unit to the different unit another unit for example meter to feet and so i will show you the working of these buttons also there is also reverse button i will talk about it also so let us uh, do some simple calculations first for example i want to add 10 uh, sorry i want to add 10 and 20 so it must give me 30 huh? so i will click here equal to button and i get here 30 so i have two different boxes for input and one is for output okay so there are two different uh, entry boxes and you can also directly type here using the keyboard when you click on these buttons all the new characters they get added at the end they even if the cursor is here character will not get added at this place but you can add the character using the keyboard from the your laptop or computer for example i want to add here two i if i uh, type uh, this two using the keyboard it gets printed here and uh, it gives the result when i click equal to button so your solution will be correct so it doesn't matter if you type from your uh, hard keyboard or using this uh, these buttons that that are within this calculator and uh, so this is our and also you can clear it like this by using your keyboard also so how this is useful this is useful in case if you have a, a long uh, already uh, typed line of uh, uh, some characters or values and uh, you don't want to uh, type them here again and again you simply copy that line from another place and you can also paste it here okay so uh, let me try something uh, suppose i want to copy this line here so let me see if i can uh, paste it here see i pasted here it here using the con command v uh, or you can use control v okay in windows so it works so you can simply copy and paste the uh, a different uh, line or for example if I write uh, suppose I am writing a statement here uh, simple 5 plus 2 plus 10 into 5 minus uh, 12 for example this is the expression that is given somewhere anywhere you uh, wherever you are working maybe in Excel maybe on your uh, so, so you can simply copy this uh, line from here simply copy it uh, like this copy and then you can paste it here using the command v uh, short key from the uh, keyboard you cannot use a right click and uh, like that but you can use the short keys and when i type uh, when i click this equal button it gives me the correct answer so that is another plus point of using this calculator okay so then uh, there are various other functions let us talk about these also so when i uh, use inverse function this gets typed here this power minus one gets typed and when i uh, click this equal button it gives me the answer similarly there is uh, this scare button scare of six will be 36 so that is correct and uh, suppose you want to have uh, another power maybe uh, 4 6 to the power 4 it gives me this 
and you can use even higher powers like this 6 to the power 12 so obviously this will be greater so let us now check other keys here this is under root so under root of uh, 81 uh, remember to close this parenthesis okay this is your bracket so you have to close this and when i type equal it gives me 9 so that is correct similarly uh, you can use uh, backspace these are the buttons you know backspace uh, when you click black backspace it deletes last character from your input box okay so there, there's a difference between clear and backspace when you type clear it clears both of these boxes and there is no character but when you click backspace there is only deletion of the single character and uh, these are the trig trigonometric functions also here so you can also check them like this sine of suppose 90 degree so sine of 90 degree is 1 so this is 1 and you can also type uh, in decimals okay so uh, let us do that 90 point suppose 58 degree and then 25 seconds and 56 uh, sorry 56 seconds and 25 minutes and you need to close this parenthesis so what will be its value it is something like this okay so uh, also you can check tangent and cos function also so now let me talk about uh, this function that is uh, a convert converter okay so when i type uh, when i click on this button c o n v it opens a different window and whatever is the output in the main window it gets automatically transferred to the this window here this um, entry box within the converter and suppose uh, let us say you need to convert uh, this from meter to feet so when i type meter to feet here when i uh, click on this button meter to feet it gets printed here also and when you click on convert your output will be shown in this box output box okay so i have uh, you know programmed it in this way but if you need it in any other way or you want to print some boxes uh, print the results only here it can be done also it, that can be also done and uh, uh, there are three boxes and we can also create another box here to uh, for input and output like that so it is not uh, still not done but i can do that also now let us say i need uh, to convert this back to meters okay so i have created uh, uh, converted 0 0.998 from meter to feet and it is equal to 3.280 feet but uh, suppose i need to convert it back to meter then i have to use the reverse function okay and how i can use that again i i will close this one then i will reopen this so this output it gets transferred to here okay and when i uh, now this time i need feet to meter okay so first i will click on reverse and then i will click on meter to feet but this time it will print here fitter feet to meters okay so this get got reversed and when i click on uh, this convert button it gives me back 0 0.998 meter okay so that is how it works so if you want to check if this is correct or not let me try single um, value of one suppose i need to convert one acre to meter square or say one uh, uh, let us take this one only one acre to meter square that is equal to 4046.856 meter square and uh, if i need to convert it back to acres i will again type this one this output is now here and then i will click on this button reverse first and then i will click this one so it got reverse meter square got first here and then it cut to the last so again click and uh, convert click the convert and it gives me one so this much meter square is equal to one acres so that is how this function uh, works reverse function i don't know if there are other uh, programs like this or not 
uh, it was my idea so of course i have uh, uh, i got a lot of help from other videos in youtube but uh, i think this is a nice calculator and if it is this function is not available anywhere else then definitely you can uh, get the code for this uh, by going to the link which i have given in the description box okay so uh, now let me talk about some of the some part of the code which and by the way this name uh, that is uh, calculator by sanisha this is uh, this name Sanisha is combination of two names that is S A and that is Sanjay and I S H A that is Nisha. So please don't get confused by it. Now let me talk about this code here. So I have used a uh, few libraries uh, packages basically. One is Kinter and uh, another one which is uh, which was of very uh, which was very useful which is uh, I mean I have used it in this code and without this code this program would not have been possible that is re and re is for the regular expressions so regular expressions uh, if you don't know that i think uh, th you will not understand that converter part and uh, also i think it is important so if you want to understand this code you definitely need to uh, know about re and kinter and also i have used this math module okay so as you uh, saw in in the working part that uh, there is a one main window which is which i have created using this tk class of the kinter and i have given this object a name that is root so main window that is root and the inner window that was the for converter uh, and that i have created in this function uh, this button underscore convert function and the name of that window is root underscore convert so i have used same class that is tk class to uh, uh, create two different windows uh, but the property of this object and that is root uh, Converge something in that this is this particular window. Uh, I think uh, you will get it uh, how um, how these two are inter um, connected. I mean, uh, how it is possible that when I click that button C O N V only then this window gets opened. So the reason uh, behind that is that this window it is created within this function button underscore c o n v and this function gets called out only when i click that button okay so that button is defined here uh, button dot uh, let me show you this is the button okay so button convert button convert so here is, this is the button okay so you can see that in when i define this button i have put here a function name in the command uh, section that is button underscore c o n v and this is the name of the function so when i click on this button this function gets called out and only then that window will open because that i have defined that uh, uh, root that window root within this function only okay so that is how i got them interconnected and also that uh, i i will also discuss that uh, in interconnection between those uh, output window of the main window and the uh, input of the that this converter function so see what i have done is that uh, uh, i have taken this global variable that is output and what is output output is the output basically is a object of the entry uh, widget of this uh, main uh, window okay so output here this is a um, basically object and 
initially I had equated it equal to main dot out main underscore output and what is main un underscore output main underscore output is the entry widget okay entry widget and what I have used it for I have used it for the output of the main window okay let me show you here so this output in this box it got created using this line of code main output okay so initial and I have created this variable another variable and initially I had equated it to main underscore output so this is a global variable okay uh, and uh, when I called this variable within that uh, converter window I had to again I have to call I had to call it using this function global output and uh, in order to extract that uh, text from that main window output of the main window I used text one that this is a variable equal to output dot get so whatever uh, was there in the output entry uh, widget uh, of the main window it gets extracted and it is saved within this variable text one and then I insert this text in the e that is the entry widget convert window what is convert window this is the entry widget of the convert that uh, converters uh, converter window okay so using this insert method okay I inserted this text one into the input of the converter window so this is a little confusing but uh, I think this is all understandable if you uh, think a little bit about this okay so when uh, then there are different functions here uh, click function is for whatever I click within that uh, converter window and uh, see when you click anything within that converter window suppose you are clicking uh, these are the function these are the buttons which are within the converter window uh, so this one is the meter to feet then kg to lbs so uh, kg is to lbs so let me show you so this is the converter window and you can see that here it is meter to feet this is meter to feet kg is to lb kg is to lb acre to meter square acre to meter square so all these uh, these are the definitions of these buttons and when i click these buttons what happens when i click them these buttons they are bound to this function button underscore click one so button underscore length that is the name of the this button meter to fit okay and it is bound to this function button underscore click so whenever I click this button what happens this function gets called okay so let us check this function button underscore click one okay so button underscore click one so uh, I am not passing any uh, variable or any uh, value from outside the uh, outside this function in a you know in a regular in a general way uh, okay like we do uh, in functions but this number it what what this number represents so this I, I think you don't need to understand uh, everything about this you simply uh, you understand this much that this variable is used to extract the text within that button so you can see that here what is the text this is meter to fitter M meter to fit m to ft so this text gets extracted using this method okay so if I click here this text it gets stored in this variable b and uh, text uh, and you can extract that text using this call function that is b and uh, use this list braces and uh, type like this text so you will get whatever text is there uh, and it will get stored within this text variable 
and uh, for uh, the functioning of this reverse function uh, i also have to uh, check if the uh, this function is clicked or not for that part i have used this variable m global variable m initially its value is true tru uh, but when this reverse function gets clicked when this button gets clicked this m turns false so you can check it here uh, define reverse and uh, this is the variable global m and so whenever this function is called m becomes false so so when i click this one okay i will show you again here so you can see this is meter to feet okay but in case if i click reverse first and then click so it get reversed this is kgs to lbs but now it is lbs to kgs so what happened basically when you click this reverse button uh, this m became false and uh, now when uh, again came come to this click function here button underscore click one what it does is if m if m is true then insert text only this is the text whatever text was there in the button it gets inserted but if m is false else what if m is false what gets insert inserted the reverse text what is reverse text i have reversed these uh, words using this simple uh, string method that is first i split these uh, words into a list using this text dot split function uh, method and then i uh, join these words again in a reverse manner using this join method okay so that is how it is done so i hope you understand this and all uh, all the rest of the code it is i think it is simple you can understand this if you know a little bit of kinter so i needed to uh, discuss only this much about whatever new i had created in this uh, uh, program and i hope you get it and you can uh, also you know uh, you can check the code this total code by going through the link which i have given in the description box so please uh, and if you need any further assistance i know i am not a very good explainer but uh, still you can write into me at uh, my uh, given uh, gmail id or uh, uh, contact number which you can uh, see of in the website link which i have given for the code itself okay or you can also write in the comment box given below and uh, maybe i can help you okay so that's all for now thank you take care and uh, do subscribe for more of such videos thank you